Hey stud! On this episode of Crafty Friday, I'm showing you guys how to make this studly studded duct tape cuff bracelet. So for those of you who have been waiting for duct tape, here it is, and if you want to see other duct tape crafts in the future, click the thumbs up button and leave me a comment with your duct tape craft request or any other video request for that matter. Now without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. To make this bracelet, you'll want to start by cutting a piece of duct tape that's a little bit larger than your wrist. I'm using a cutting board and an X-Acto knife for this step. Now that this strip is cut, I'm going to flip it over and then fold down the top part of that. Pull the ends tight and do this carefully so you don't get any creases. You don't want any of the sticky parts to be exposed, so you're going to fold the bottom part up as well. It's decoration time. I'm going to use some normal studs for this first bracelet. These studs actually have metal prongs on the back that will poke into the duct tape. Basically, I'm just lining the stud up with the row I already have, and I'm going to push the prongs into the tape. You'll see that the prongs are poking through. Now you want to bend these down so that they're flat against the tape. I'm using a pen cap to do this. Once all your studs are in place, it's time to add a closure to your bracelet. I'm just going to use some adhesive Velcro for this. It shouldn't cut your wrist when you're wearing it, but if you're worried, then just add another piece of tape on the back to cover all the studs. If you don't have any studs with prongs in them, you can of course use rhinestones or just flat back studs and glue them on, but I will warn you that glue may eventually peel off of your duct tape no matter how strong it is. Also, if you don't have a way to close your bracelet, you can always use the same color of tape to just cut a little piece and just stick it together that way. If you end up making your own studly studded duct tape bracelet, then be sure to use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out my Instagram and Twitter and maybe follow me on those if you want to. I like to post pictures and tweet. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. If you have any video requests, leave them below. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I do put out crafty videos every single Friday and sometimes other ones throughout the week as well. I will see you guys very soon. Bye! Last week on Crafty Friday, I made these scrumptious mini polymer clay cinnamon rolls. Here are the ones you, the viewers, sent in. You guys are awesome at clay, so thank you so much for sending those photos to me. Let's get right in the t into the in 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 the in the hot tub. Every time I try to film, there's noise somewhere. I really should have turned the camera off like five minutes ago.